In this demo, I'm going to show you the DaVinci Resolve workflow for using Nikon's NRAW files with NLog. Once you have added your NRAW clips to your project, you'll want to start by modifying your project settings. Go to File, Project Settings, then select Color Management. From there, select the following. Color Science, DaVinci YRGB. Timeline Color Space, DaVinci Wide Gamut Intermediate. Output Color Space, Rec 709A for Mac users. And for Windows users, select Rec 709 Scene. Then scroll down to Lookup Tables and set your 3D Lookup Table interpolation to Tetrahedral. That's it for the project settings. Now I'll jump over to the Color tab at the bottom of the screen. Here I'm going to set up three nodes. You can right-click on your first node and select Add Node, and then Add Serial. Do this exact step once more to add a third node. From there, I'll go to the effects at the top and look for Color Space Transform and add this effect to the first node. Here we're going to change four settings. For Input Color Space, select Rec 2020. For Input Gamma, Nikon N-Log. Output Color Space, DaVinci Wide Gamut. Output Gamma, DaVinci Intermediate. Once you set the color space transform for the first node, add the same color space transform effect to the third node. Here we're going to change four settings. Input color space should be set to DaVinci Wide Gamut. Input Gamma should be set to DaVinci Intermediate. Output color space Rec 709 and Output Gamma Rec 709A. With all that set, you can adjust your settings in the Camera Raw tab in the middle left to further refine your video. Note that any color grading should be applied to the middle node, and the same process can be repeated for all clips. Thanks for joining me for this quick look at the workflow for using Nikon's NRAW files with NLog in DaVinci Resolve.